Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the most basic relief carving that I possibly can, so that if your your desire is to do this, but you're a little reluctant to and you're kind of nervous, maybe this will put you at ease and you can get started and really enjoy doing these, because these are a lot of fun. Now I've got a piece of cedar wood out there in the shop that I'm going to use and it may not carve correctly but the point of this video is to show you how to do it. Now I would recommend using something like black walnut, cherry, or maple but I really like uh, cedar so we're going to give that a shot. But back to the tutorial. I'm going to start with an 8x8 eight eight piece of wood or a project 8x8. Eight eight. I'm going to put the origin in the center. We're going to click OK. And as always with these tutorials, this is the way that I do it. There's a hundred different ways. Doesn't mean that I'm 100% correct or that someone else is 100% correct. But this is the way that I do it and we're going to keep it simple. Now, my daughter's got some chickens and she wants a chicken coop built. So I thought it might be fun to make her a relief of a rooster. So the way we do this is we go up here to the top to the two folders. The one with the yellow star, we click on that. And that opens up our relief library. Now we can scroll down through here and pick and choose any one we want. But in this case, as I said, I want a rooster. So to simplify this, where I've got the cursor flashing up here, I'm going to start typing in rooster. And as you can see, he comes up right here. So simply grab this rooster and drag him into your work area. Close this back out. You don't need it any longer. All right. Now, it's really not on your work area yet. I know it looks like it is, but it isn't. We have to adjust the size, and then we have to do what we call pasting it to the surface. So let's go over here to the right, and we're going to adjust the size. We want to make sure that our aspect ratio lock is still on. Otherwise, things will get out of, that will distort the image, and we don't want to do that. As I said, this is an 8x8 eight eight size piece of wood. We don't want to go that big. We want it to be a little bit smaller. So let's try, we'll start with 6 inches by 6 inches and see what that looks like. And as I said, it's going to keep the aspect ratio so it's not going to be 6 by 6. It'll be 6 by 7.12. Hit apply. Looks a little bit big. Let's drop it down to 5.5 and hit apply again. That looks a little more like it. I think we like that. Now, as I said, we need to paste this down. So you'll scroll down to the bottom here and you see this word paste. Don't push paste yet. Hit F9 to make sure that your image is in the center of your work area. Again, F9 puts it in the center. Now we can paste it down. As I said, this is going to be a simple relief. And you can adjust the height of the relief by adjusting the Z range. You can change all of these things. You can make this, this rooster extremely tall. Let me show you an example of that. If I rotate this rooster around and I grab this arrow, See what I can do to this bird? We don't want to do that to that bird. We want to leave him right where he was. He was at 0.3 over here. So let me put that back. Click on this box here to flip it back to the center. So it's going to carve 0.3 deep, and that's plenty for your first carve. You don't need to be doing these things down an inch deep. It just You don't need to do that. You could go a half inch, but when you're starting out, let's go with 0.3, maybe a quarter of an inch and carve from there. All right, so we've already pasted it down. You see that it turns, I did not paste it down, I'm sorry. Click paste and you'll watch it change. And now you can see that it's that color. That means it is on your work surface. So you can create a border all the way around this bird or any other image at a given distance. Again, we're gonna keep this simple so I'm not gonna go into how you do all of those crazy things. But what I do want to do is create a box around the work surface area. So we'll go to the square tool, click in the corner, drag to the right, create the square over here. And that will create the work surface. Go to your cursor up here, your arrow tool, select off of that. And that's just my personal preference is to select off of everything and then select again. We're going to select the box that we just created. We're going to go to Relief Carving Toolpath up here on the right. Click that. Now, we don't really want to do whole relief. Let's do Selected Vectors. Go down to Finishing Tool. In this case, I'm going to use a 
eighth inch ball nose. Select that. Raster is perfectly fine back and forth. That is exactly what we want. Roughing tool, I'm going to use a quarter inch end mill. And there's going to be a way you'll get around this switching tools if you don't have the bit setter or pawn CNC's depth stop collars. And I'll show you that in a moment here. As we roll down, everything looks okay to me. We don't need to change any of these numbers. We don't need to add any ramping for this simple relief. Let's adjust the safe Z height by clicking here. I don't need this thing to raise almost an inch above the work area. It'll take you forever to carve it. So let's do 0.1 as a safe Z. We need to define the material thickness. That piece of cedar I have happens to be one inch thick. We're going to click OK. We're going to go down here and give it a name. Not that it's that important, but we'll give it a name anyway. We'll call it the rooster. Calculate now. And we are patient while the red bar goes across. A little longer, and we have a big red blob. No, we really have a relief carving. All right, let's go to tool paths over here on the right. Let's simulate the entire tool path. Click simulate. And abracadabra, bing, bang, boom, we have a rooster. Left click, push the mouse button down, and you can rotate to see you definitely have a bird on that piece of material. So we need to save the tool paths. And this is where, if you don't have a bit setter and you don't have pawn CNC's collars, I'll leave a link to pawn CNC in the description below where you can pick them up if you'd like. But let's go down here and save the tool paths. What we want to do is save these as separate tool paths because you're going to have to change the bits and you're going to have to re-zero for Z. So let's go over here to this side and you're going to save tool paths to separate files. Click the top box. You're going to go back over here. Let's rename this to Rooster. You don't want to lose the last file that you did. And click Save shows you where it's going. We don't need that. We'll close this out. And we should be good to go. Let's check the desktop and see if my tools are there. They are. There's Rooster 1 and Rooster 2. If you click on those, it'll say Rooster Toolpath 1. That would be your roughing tool. You go to here and Toolpath number 2 is going to be your finishing tool. And that's basically all there is to it. So let's go out to the shop that is the shop and see if I can wreck a piece of wood, which may very well happen in a piece of cedar. But that's really all there is to a relief carving. As I said, we can get real fancy by adding borders that go closely around the bird or the image, but that's not the object here. Let's go to the shop and carve a rooster. Now, the one thing I failed to mention in the shop that's not the shop, and I want to make sure I point this out to you all, is make sure your stock is oversized enough so that when it cuts your relief, it's not running into your clamps because you're going to be taking off the entire surface here. I've measured out an eight by eight inch square, my origins in the center again, and the machine is going to be running back and forth in between those two points. It doesn't care that I have extra wood, but I do because I don't want the dust boot or the machine to hit any of these clamps. So keep that in mind when you're making these reliefs. Oversize the stock enough that your relief can be cut inside without hitting your clamps. One more point. The reason you want oversized stock as well is when you have to re-zero for the second tool. This will have been milled away. You won't be able to use this area, but you can use this area or this area here to re-zero for Z height with the second tool, and then it'll jump over and start doing its job again. If you all have stuck with me this far, I really, really appreciate it. I'd also like it if you'd reach down there and click that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. If you think I've earned it anyway, I'm hoping that I've given you a lot of value here. And it helps the channel grow. The subscriptions help us stay in the shop and keep doing what we love doing, which is showing you guys how to do these things and creating these videos. So, again, thank you very much, and please subscribe. Now, doesn't that look like an awesome chicken? <laughs> Not really, but you see here where it's split. Now that's the problem with cedar. Now here's where the pawn C and C collars would have come into play had I used it and had you had them. These are pawn C and C collars. 
when they're in the machine, you zero once, and you have multiple collars that are set at exactly the same height from the tip. So you can just pop it out and pop it in and you're good to go. We don't have those. We're gonna bring the machine back over to here somewhere and I'm gonna zero for Z. Do not change X and Y, just Z. We are also gonna load the other file for the second tool. Now for those of you that look at this and you think, man, it's just too complicated. I can't do it. I'm telling you, you can. I encourage you to try it. Bite the bullet, make one of these things. When you do, you'll be so proud of it. It's so much fun. Go ahead and bite the bullet and try to make yourself a rooster or any other relief. Okay, so here's what we're left with when it cuts it out. Pretty cool, come out pretty good. Now this here is your best friend when it comes to reliefs. This is a wire brush, I call it a beaver's toothbrush. And you just get in there and get on this thing a little bit back and forth, clean it up, be good to go. And again, cedar not so good to work with for uh, relief carbs, but I sure do love it when it's finished. Speaking of finish, I'm gonna cut this off, cut that off. I'll throw some exterior polyurethane on this and I'll bring it back over and you can see how pretty she comes out. All right, y'all, I hope you don't think I'm being cocky here, get it? Cocky, rooster, but that is pretty dang nice. So that's how you do a relief carving. Not too difficult. Start slow with basic projects. Work up to the more complicated ones. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. Please give us a like and a share. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.